utilize the environment just great. Ah, it becomes a bad boy. You don't want to be waiting for. Yeah, there you go. Another one? Ah, there you go. One more? Yeah. As we can see, it looks pretty darn cool, too. That's what, that's what I was thinking. But alright, we're about to run it. As you guys see, from right here. Not only does it look sick, but let's take a quick look at what I'm running. Now, with this one, see, base damage is 96.4, 85 anomaly, 32.3 health. Yeah, it's kind of chunky with 72k armor. Now, with this one, I'm running the Roaring Umbra because it comes with the kinetic stop and I throw on Shadow Common on it for the constant because it's not really bullet damage, but it's just for when you're waiting some stuff to cool down, some abilities and skills. You throw this guy on. So you can see 210 uh, damage with 3.5 meter radius every 3 seconds. And the kinetic stomp is you deal 232 and a 5 meter radius every 4. And then the opposite when you want to change, you run out of ammo, or just you reload in the light machine, it takes too long. Switching it here to the molten Eola, I think. Eola. And then with the scrap grenade, also have the ravenous locust which when you hit it takes 250k and applies weakness over time and then scrap grenades every first shot that's 226 and it's a one shot rifle so every shot just keep going yeah if you see this what we're going to be running the cryo turret to the struck in the rocket launcher which does 114 base and then you see that does extra and then the blighted turret so you can see here it has a skill life fleece close to see I just put it just because, just because, I mean, it looks awesome. But if you get to find certain pieces, what I would pretty much say is to have anomaly power, the skill life leech, and then the cooldown. That's what you will want. You don't need the close range, long range damage, not with this build. You need cooldown so you can get the stuff even faster, especially your tools of destruction. Because mine, you get it, like, what, what's that, every uh, 34 seconds, right? Yeah, see, every 34 seconds. So you can even lower that. And then with this guy, see, close range. See, I'm still trying to get pieces. <laughs> I'm still trying to get pieces. As you can see, now the power cooldown, close range. It has cooldown, but then it don't have the skill life leech. But with your healing abilities, it's kind of okay if you want to not have a skill life leech. If you want, you can also have status power, which is why, which is what I have here. See, with the play soil, you see, it has close range, which sucks to me. But unfortunately, in order to have the set bonus that I'm applying toxic, you have 5%, you know, damage reduction. For five seconds and it stacks up so every time when you're blind turn hitting someone you're also building up that reduction as well and then you can see a circle power brings up your resistance and it lasts for seven seconds and it can stack up to three times so pretty much soon as you start the attack which is why you get hurt a lot in the beginning but as soon as you start it you get 45 percent resistance as soon as you activate it bring out your rocket launcher throw both turns and then you get the other turn every seven seconds so no matter what you're gonna have 15 resistance on at all times and then all you have to do is wait extra three seconds when you throw the cryo turret boom now you back up to 30 and then when another 15 seconds pass when you get the um tools of destruction boom now you have 45 and then you're just constantly doing that it stacks up you know 15 30 45 15 30 45 so it's still consistent and as you can see it still it still works it's not like i was you know in too much danger but that's the only thing because it's not focusing on the bonus firepower. So as you can see, oh my god, goodness, I'm going to have to move, remove it from here. But as you can see, the reason why I didn't put this guy, I only have one and it's for my bullet build. But the reason why I don't have, I only have this one, I only use the other pieces because he's bonus firepower. And as you've seen me use it, it's not about uh, firepower at all. And then it comes with the blighted rounds we're not using that so it's just pretty much dead you know which sucks and then it's the same thing with the body piece see this is what it comes with two blight round mods so no matter what which one i remove i'm automatically gonna have a bite round mod on it that is gonna be dead because again this build does not need anything not only it doesn't need bullet damage it does not need blight rounds it's not using blight rounds 
Which one is kind of normally powerful, close range, long range. I just shoot, I snap. Nah, that's okay. Okay. So that's exactly why I decided to put these three pieces. Because, yeah, it sucks. But see, bonus firepower, you need the one piece. But this one comes with the Blight Terminal mod, which that's what we're using. So that's great that it came with this one. So that's why you have pants, gloves, and shoes that get you max health, which also helps you tankier. And when it helps your resistance and heal, you last longer. Because I'm pretty sure if it was lower, 20,000, you probably would have fallen, as you've seen from the gameplay. Uh, so now, let me see. See, so you have, yeah. Alright, so let's quickly look at it. Untap power, as you can see, every time you throw the turret. And you have the cool down of 50%. That's why you get it every 11 seconds. To the destruction, you want to double the ammo. And then now each rocket does an extra 210k. So on top of the 114 it does, you got another 2k. So a 210k. So now we're looking at, what, 335? 335 with each explosion. Or 325 with each explosion. And that's without the vulnerability being inflicted. But that's what you see. And then now, circle of power to resistance, what I speak of. And then what also helps you get around is the blight turn. You get it every 7 seconds, but it, it replenishes 35 of your health. Not only to you, but to each ally. It might not even heal you. It might just be your allies. But it's a good mod for when you play with people. And every time it's destroyed, you get it every second. So every time you throw it down, the old one gets destroyed. Boom, you get your 35. Great. This one is the offensive one, which is also with the status power. Enthusiasm, radical therapy. So it's 40% extra. Now, with me, what I would say is great. So your blight turn is doing a lot. Because what happens is your cryo turn hits them, freezes them, inflicts their vulnerability, and keeps them in place. And then your blight turn is going to eat them alive. That's what it's for. Because the vulnerability, blue, blue, blue. Because you can put it, the vulnerability with the toxic side. But I feel like it's not as effective. And it's not as consistent. You know, kind of thing. Because even though they get it with the vulnerability. You hit them. They run away. So at least with the ice. It holds them in place. For that damage to happen. But I would actually. Personally. I would actually remove the radical therapy. The 50%. To put shatter. Which is the 25% or more damage that it does to ice to frozen people but i don't have that mod yet but once you do and that's exactly what i'm gonna do i'm gonna switch it so it's 50 percent every time you basically throw down your turret because you get those turrets and it's always gonna affect and the cryo turret lasts longer and has more health than the blighted turret so and the fact that you get that every 11 seconds is even greater it's always refreshing so it's, it's never you throw it down and then you don't have nothing left you're constantly throwing down even when you've seen you know the bosses breaking the stuff i constantly got it back real fast just boom throw it down throw it down it's it's great and i feel like it's just really effective this way you shouldn't really change it but i would change that to shatter because the fact that you get it every eight, seven seconds but you don't need the blight around to give you that damage reduction so it's great and then now, see, by turn does more damage, which 10,000 is just wonderful. But again, you need it to hold in place, which is why I hold it. And then other one is increase the radius by 30%. So your explosion covers a lot more ground. So you hit a lot more people. All right, All right man, I'm excited. Now let's give it a go and see, see what's happening. Test that guy hard a while. Scorchland. Frontline. Watch the cameras. Hard of the wild. Hard of the wild is crazy long too. You know, let's do scorch lands. I kind of wanted to try the drought palace, but that that one didn't pop up. Camp is suffering a water shortage. All right, let's test that out again.
Right? Not too bad, okay. Clear zone, it's not bad.
they don't scare me. <laughs> Alright, you guys. That's what you don't want what happened last time. Running out of ammo, that would suck. Could we answer in the last part and refill that ammo? I wasn't looking to see how much I was at. Huh, there's a pod here. Damn thing crashed into the pipe. There's some pipes are up the flood. Run away.
the locust is a better for when I want to fight. But the Calvin Coast, I want to accommodate a hell of a I want to go off as much as possible. Bad, you guys, not too bad. I'm still making good time for Scorchlands. Still gonna get gold, baby. If we make it through this bad guy. The flood's cleared up. I can reach the pod now. Find your bedroom. Fight closer to the closer to the ammo.
I don't think I need a ammo for this one because I just refreshed so let me, let me jump down here. Go that bad guy. Right, Zahidi. I found one of our about. pods. And as a bonus, we can all start bathing again. Excellent. That water's gonna be a lifesaver, Outrider. I'll be sure to bring people the good news. Okay. Let's see, we blessed this time. Outrider detected. Access granted. It's all good. Alright, but what you guys think of the build is pretty awesome, right? Unique too. Remember that. Unique, my good sir. Alright. Let you guys see. 235. Took 2.2 more that we didn't block a lot, but we sure as heck took a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time.
see you in my next video. Oh.